President Trump is campaigning right up until Election Day, but who will take control of Congress? Our ABC correspondent Stephanie Ramos reports from Washington. The president is closing out the midterm campaign with a mad dash, campaigning today in Ohio, Indiana, and Missouri. Control of the House and Senate is at stake, but so is President Trump's agenda. We overcame the Democrats' smear campaign and confirmed the newest member of the United States Supreme Court. Our latest ABC News Washington Post poll shows Democratic House candidates leading Republicans by 52 to 44 percent among likely voters. But for them to win the Senate, they need to gain two seats, and that means winning in states won by President Trump. States the president is focusing on as he sticks with his key theme, immigration. Democrats are openly encouraging millions of illegal aliens to break our laws. The caravan of migrants that includes women and children fleeing violence and poverty in Central America is still nearly 700 miles away. But Democrats, they're out with their own heavy hitter, President Obama. They're telling us that the single most grave threat to America is a bunch of like poor, impoverished, broke, hungry refugees. That's like the thing that's really going to threaten Gary in the end. Obama made campaign stops in Indiana and Illinois, hitting Republicans on health care. They have declared war on Obamacare. They've declared war on the Affordable Care Act and all the provisions in it. Voter turnout is expected to break records this midterm election. More than 80% of voters surveyed in our most recent ABC News Washington Post poll. Republicans and Democrats, they say they will definitely vote. On Capitol Hill, Stephanie Ramos, ABC News.